For generations, Iowans have flocked to the beautiful bluffs of northeast Iowa, perhaps to pay a visit to the abundant trout streams or to paddle along the glistening upper Iowa River. Biking in this picturesque landscape has largely been confined to highways or a multitude of mountain bike trails, but community leaders near the city of Decorah had big dreams. A bike path connecting the outdoor scenery to the quaint downtown experience. A cycling journey for the young and old, experienced and novice, all within the friendly bluffs of Winnesheet County. We wanted to uh, develop a dedicated uh, trail uh, that was uh, off-road and uh, scenic and safe. And uh, we started looking at uh, maps to find out points of interest that we could, destinations that we could connect. And uh, we ended up uh, talking to landowners. We spent years talking to landowners to get feedback. After years of planning reached a financial crescendo, construction began on a contiguous paved loop. A master plan was designed for the ideal route, no matter what blocked the path. I think that we did it uh, very much the hard way. We didn't have a rail bed other than about a half a mile of rail bed to reclaim. We didn't, we had to create our own rail bed. Local officials faced many obstacles when building this trail. Known as the cut, this passage wasn't here a few years ago. Engineers actually had to blast their way through. In five, four, three, two, one. Explosive experts blew away massive chunks of this bluff and spent weeks cleaning up the debris before paving a roomy and signature passage. Other sections of this trail run directly beside the water's edge. Trail Run Trail runs 12 miles around the entire city of Jacora, including trips over streams like the Upper Iowa and Trout Run Creek. These streams and rivers are brimming with the region's famously abundant trout, and your cycling journey brings you to the front door of one of the Iowa DNR's most important tools. Cyclists and walkers can stop by one of the DNR's most productive fish hatcheries, just steps away from the trail. Trout raised here are used to stock dozens of Northeast Iowa streams. Just across the street from the fish hatchery rests the famous Decor Eagle Nest. And while those eaglets will surely leave the nest by fall or winter, the next generation could be coming to a webcam or bike trail near you. Public artwork serves as a cornerstone for the Decor bike trail system. Artwork like the River Horizon Archway dots the trail. An Iowa City artist designed this archway based on the memories he had fishing with his grandfather near Decorah's famously abundant trout streams. Besides the obvious connection to trout, this arch symbolizes the gateway between urban and rural sections of the trail. And that's what community leaders wanted all along, a connection with the beauty of Decorah and the downtown businesses that could see an economic boost. If you're going to build or develop a trail, it's going to take 10 years. You have to be patient. Uh, and I think you have to uh, select a route that is worth the investment. Uh, the route that's, uh, that's scenic is more to it than just getting from point A to point B. It's also enjoying the scenery along the way. And, and I think that's one of the things we have going for us here is we have a very uh, uh, wonderful uh, loop, scenic loop, that uh, takes on the characteristics that a lot of people like about Northeast Iowa.